I first arrived in Vietnam seven years ago and since then I've called it home. And there isn't just one single thing that has made me stay in Vietnam. I would say it's a combination of many different factors. And all those factors came together so that I ended up staying. Here's one of the things, Vietnamese coffee. And just getting a Vietnamese coffee right on the street, sitting on these little red stools right by the side of the streets. I mean, that's awesome. So they put condensed milk and the Vietnamese coffee, which is a robusta bean. It has a very strong, almost caramel flavor. And it's strong. It's very strong. And this coffee was only 15,000 dong, which is about half a dollar, just over half a dollar. So since we're talking about why I call it home, I think one of the biggest reasons is that I feel at home here. There's something about living in Vietnam where you just feel that you have a lot of freedom and you feel comfortable, me at least. I think Vietnam is a very welcoming country, so the people are friendly and kind. So I'm walking through a local market here, and this is right behind Ninja Teacher Tier 4 Academy, so there's a really nice contrast too in Vietnam between things like this, where you're just walking through a local market, you can buy fruits and vegetables and meats and all of that. It's very cheap to shop at a local market like this. And then right next to it, we've got Pearl Plaza, which is like a modern shopping mall. So that's one of the things I really like too in Vietnam, is just that contrast of the modern, but also this kind of traditional side of Vietnam, you know? We've got food here, uh, bun, bun sao te. Hello. <laughs> we've got like a fruit store here, bang mi. Oh, this here is bun seo, Vietnamese pancake. It's really good. So Saigon has that, the modern side of it. It's got Landmark 81, which is the tallest tower in Southeast Asia. It's got high-rise buildings. It's got all the most fancy things that you could possibly want in a city. There's high-end restaurants, it has shopping malls, cinemas, you know, everything that you could possibly want in a city. But at the same time, it's far more affordable than many cities in the world. So that is one of the other things, is the opportunities that you can have here in Vietnam. And I think that was, for me, a big one because I had just come out of a year of teaching English abroad in South Korea. And I enjoyed my time in South Korea, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay on there a little bit longer. I was actually going to move up to Seoul. But then I decided not to do that and instead traveled around Southeast Asia for a little while. And that was a great decision because then I ended up in Vietnam. As I spent more time in Vietnam, I just kind of realized I wanted to stay. And it was partly because it was very cheap to live in Vietnam. And you know, I had some money saved up from teaching, my first year of teaching. But I also saw the opportunities for teaching English here were really good. And this was, you know, six years ago. And it has continued to be the case. Obviously we had a little bit of a setback over the last two years. But other than that, you can earn a really good salary teaching English here and then live really well and comfortably in Vietnam. Local Vietnamese food is really cheap, you know, two to three dollars for a meal. No, around two dollars for most meals. Uh, depends on where you go, of course. Western food can be a bit more expensive, but most people I know are living off less than a thousand US dollars per month in Vietnam, you know, with a nice apartment. If you're in somewhere like homes up there, fancy apartment building, then that's like a $700 plus apartment. But if you're maybe in a smaller apartment building, you can get something from like three to $400 for an apartment per month. And the rest of your living expenses, maybe renting a motorbike, $50 a month, eating out at Vietnamese restaurants, cooking yourself, occasionally going to more expensive Western restaurants. Well, you can live really well on less than $1,000 per month. Now I just realized this is probably pretty loud over here because this is probably the biggest street in the whole of Saigon. So I probably didn't choose the best place to film.
Okay, I walked over here to Van Tan Park, which is a little bit quieter. So there are spots in the city in Saigon where you can get out of the noise because it is quite an intense city. There is a lot going on. But that is also something that a lot of people like about Saigon is the energy, just the hustle culture, but also just all the stuff going on. There's a lot to do. It's a city with a population of over 10 million people. So you're not going to be short of things to do and with those low living costs then you can comfortably live on a thousand dollars or less in the city it is possible to blow a lot of money here too so I'm not gonna say that you know that is always gonna be the case that it's gonna be super cheap because you can spend a lot of money but realistically I've lived on a thousand dollars or less for many years in Saigon and then of course the other reason why I stayed was the opportunities the ability to work here as an English teacher and that's what I started out doing I was teaching here mostly part-time because I had already been working on Ninja Teacher as a company but I did some teaching in Vietnam and that is basically one of the best opportunities and things about Vietnam is to teach English and as a first-time English teacher you can earn about $1,200 to $1,800 per month if you get more experience that can go up over time and the great thing is you don't have to have studied teaching to start teaching ESL in Vietnam that's English as a second language so you're teaching people how to speak English and that's quite a different skill set to some other kinds of teaching you're not lecturing it's very engaging it's hands-on learning so you don't have to have studied teaching and you can just take a TEFL course plus a bachelor's degree and then you can teach in Vietnam and a key point of making that much money while you know it doesn't sound that much objectively when you take into account the living expenses and also the fact that that's for around probably 18 to 22 teaching hours per week which is not a lot compared to the 60 hour work week that a lot of people are used to and yes there's extra work on top of that you have to lesson plan for lessons you have to do some admin work related to your job but that affords for a lifestyle that a lot of people don't get to have in another country and that is really saying something because being able to have that kind of lifestyle where you don't have to be working all the time plus being able to live really well comfortably in a new country it's a pretty great opportunity and is one of the reasons why I've stayed. Other than myself doing it and taking advantage of that opportunity, over time we've started to help other people do the same. And at this point Ninja Teacher has helped over a thousand people move to Vietnam, get trained to be English teachers and find teaching jobs. We're just meeting up with some of the new arrivals. Nearly half the class has just got here so far. Hello, hello. Okay. How's everyone doing? So I'm pretty passionate about this opportunity to live abroad because once you're living abroad, you have so many opportunities to travel further. You know, you not only get to experience the country that you're in at that given time, you get to go to nearby countries. And I just flew to Bali for $150 round trip, spent a few weeks there, and that was absolutely awesome. And you can do that when you have time off if you're teaching English in Vietnam, and it's super affordable. And that's not even mentioning how beautiful Vietnam itself is. You can travel to different cities throughout Vietnam. The north of Vietnam is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen my Hazang Loop video, that place is absolutely stunning. It's a motorcycle loop which you can do in the north of Vietnam. Wow, one of the coolest things I've ever done. That's one of the main reasons why I've stayed in Vietnam now is because I'm pretty passionate about giving other people this opportunity to have the experience that I've had. And we had a team meeting the other day with the Ninja Teacher team to try and tap into our why as a company, why we exist. So we just had a little team meeting here, our planning for the rest of the year and this upcoming course in September. How did it go, everyone? Yeah, good. Really excited to, to have a full course coming up on Saturday, just a few days away, and to get started again. First team meeting? Yeah, excited. With a big row after a while. <laughs> we want to show people about this opportunity and then help them do it. So our company mission is to inspire and help people to start teaching English abroad so that they can travel, earn and make a difference. And we have just begun our next TEFL class. This is day one. Over the weekend we had our welcoming events, everyone arriving, we have a full class this month of TEFL trainees. So we're about to get started with the training this month. Full month of training plus finding everyone a job. And over the weekend we had a city tour and a welcoming evening 
to welcome everyone into the country, help everyone get settled, and now we're getting started with the training. How's it going, guys? All good? I'm gonna go in a little bit and let's get a photo. There's a public swimming pool here, which is only 70k to get in. It is a Wednesday during the day, so pretty empty. But actually, during the day when it's hot, not that many Vietnamese people are here because Vietnamese people don't like to be in the sun too much, typically. Another thing for me is I really care about education in Vietnam and in general. And to be honest, this was not the case when I first started teaching English. Didn't really care that much. It was kind of more about me, what could I get out of it? The opportunity to live abroad, travel, make money. And that's perfectly fine too, but over time I've seen the importance of education, of English education in Vietnam. Just the fact that education is taken very seriously in Vietnam and parents put so much into their children's education. They spend so much money on school, on helping their kids get a good education and a big part of that is English education. There's a big emphasis on learning English in Vietnam to give people the best opportunities possible. That's part of the reason why there are so many jobs for English teachers. As an English teacher you have the opportunity to improve education in Vietnam, give better futures to people and make a difference. And that also goes for English teacher training. So TEFL courses, T-E-F-L, that stands for Teaching English as a Foreign Language. And a TEFL course is designed to teach you as an English teacher how to be a good teacher. And we really take that seriously. And we've been offering TEFL training courses since back in 2014 through Ninja Teacher. And for the last few years, we've been running our training course here in Saigon with that break during the period that we don't talk about now. And we we really take the education of English teachers seriously because you want to be able to be a good teacher so that you can step into the classroom not only to get a good job because schools really do care about the quality of your TEFL certificate and also just so that you are the best teacher that you can be and you can step into a classroom and do a good job for the students that you're teaching because it's going to be you know often young learners and the way you interact with them and teach them is going to shape their future it's important what you're doing as an english teacher and investing in yourself and your own education is really important too so it's good to be back in saigon and making content again and i wanted to make this video as a kind of a start to making content in saigon again because this is to me an overview of some of the benefits of living abroad in Vietnam and in future videos I'm just going to show you more about all of this so tell you more and show you places in Vietnam that are beautiful places to visit or cool coffee shops and restaurants show you more of what life is like in Vietnam but I wanted to give this sort of overview of why I have decided to live in Vietnam and make Vietnam my home and give you a sense of if this would be something you would want to do to live abroad in Vietnam so leave a comment below with your thoughts on living abroad in Vietnam and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos about life abroad in Vietnam and I'll speak to you soon peace